Hey guys, quick video on my new uh, Dragon Link micro receiver. I got this for one of my airplanes that uh, I'm ready to go a little bit further. I kind of outflew my Free Sky. So here we are. I need eight channels. Uh, that's what I want to use. If you use this uh, micro receiver out of the box, technically you only have six channels, one through six. And because seven is by default is PPM and eight is RSSI and this is the way it comes uh, you can go into the GUI software and uh, reconfigure the last two channels and make them just straight up channels 7 and 8 you can use this at eight, as 8 channels but you cannot use PPM or SSI if you do that in my situation I need 8 channels for my airplane at the same time I want to be able to use RSSI so I had to do a, a minor change on the software so I can use eight channels along with the RSSI. So I'm going to show you some screenshots of what I did. Make it a little bit easier for somebody out there trying to do the same thing uh, using this and a Tornado OSD. I think it's similar if you're using a Storm as well. But I was scratching my head for a while, couldn't figure it out. Finally got some help from the forums. Some of the guys there were uh, real, real good about it and uh, helped me out quite a bit. So I figure I'll make a short video on this to make it simple for everybody. So what I did, I'm using... Uh, my first six channels through PPM and then I needed two additional channels so I'm using one and two and I remapped these to work at seven and eight on the GUI and I will show you that here in a second so six channels to PPM then seven eight and then of course RSSI I'm gonna use also and uh, that frees up some of these bays right here which is nice which is nice for me also because I'm going to be using a uh, a UBEC to power this um, transmitter, one of these. I'm not sure if it's going to focus or not, but uh, I like to power my receivers with a separate UBEC. So having some of these bays opened up, I can uh, power, uh, supply power from to there. So, anyways, let me show you some screenshots of uh, how I got this wired up and just so you can get an idea and make it easier on the next person who's trying to do the same thing I just did. Here is a screenshot of the Dragon Link user interface and the red circle indicates the changes that I've made. So like I said earlier, channel 1 is now channel 7, channel 2 is now channel 8. Everything else is default settings. And the yellow circle indicates the number of channels going through PPM. You can change that to 12 if you wish, but in my case, uh, 8 is all I need. This is the Cyclops Tornado OSD screenshot that I'll be using in my airplane. Just real quick here, the uh, red box indicates where you wire in your servos, your ESC, all that stuff there goes through your airplane. And the yellow dots, that's what's going to be streaming through my PPM. And that's uh, the PPM you see there where it says rudder or bus. That's where your PPM wire goes. And then, of course, to your Dragon Link receiver. So I got six dots there, yellow dots. Six channels will be going through PPM. And RSSI there at the very bottom goes into the Dragon Link RSSI. So here is the screenshot of my OSD system configuration screen. This is page three. And I'm running firmware 1.06 on my OSD, so this is what mine looks like. On the input, on uh, default, I think I think it's a PWM, which is just standard hookup. So to use PPM, you have a JR PPM, you have a Futaba PPM, and S bus. So pick whatever works for you. The JR PPM as well work for my setup. This is a picture of a Dragon Link receiver that I got from the internet. It's a little different than mine. This one's gold plated. I got a silver one for some reason. I won't get into that, but anyways, uh, just real quick, I put some uh, indicators here where I'm getting my stuff wired in. As you can see there at the very top, RSSI goes to RSSI on the Tornado. Channel 7 PPM goes to the rudder or bus connection on the OSD. And I'm going to be wiring my UBEC 5 supply to channel 6. I can do channel 5, channel 4, doesn't matter which one. And just for reference only, the top pin is uh, your signal. The middle pins are your positive. The lower pins are your negatives. So 
And of course, uh, like I said earlier, one through six are being streamed through PPM. And channel seven, I converted channel one at the very bottom. That's going to a buzzer at my airplane. In case it gets lost, I can activate that. And my channel eight is now being streamed through channel two, and that's for my flaps. So that's where I'll wire those in. And that's the way it looks right there. This is a picture of my Tornado OSD inside my airplane and how the actual wiring looks. This is a, a bench test I was doing, so everything appears to be working pretty well. And this is how it looks on the other end of it, from the OSD to the receiver. I'll wire it in. Everything is uh, testing, working properly on the bench. So this may or may not work for you, but it works great for me. So I hope this can help someone else out there with this setup. And uh, if there were any errors on this video or any uh, false information by accident, please let me know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thanks for watching.